what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A black doctor who has been battling the coronavirus pandemic in his hospital and on the streets of Miami was detained and handcuffed by a dirty, low-down, good-for-nothing police sergeant as he loaded his van with supplies that he said he planned to take to the homeless. Dr. Orman Henderson, an internal medicine physician at the University of Miami Health System, said the biggest concern about the up-close encounter was that the Miami-Dade police sergeant was not wearing a protective mask when he got all up in his face. The incident occurred on Friday, just three days after Miami-Dade Police Chief George Kalina announced that six of his officers had tested positive for COVID-19, with another 125 quarantined pending results. This dude put everybody at risk. Now, the police chief went on to say that he was encouraging the public to wear masks protect yourself, practice social distancing. Do it for us, do it for yourself. Why is this police officer getting out of his car in the middle of the damn street when he see a man with medical supplies? You can eyeball the medical supplies. You can roll right up and see what he got in his hands. He got a mask on, he got supplies in his hands. He's taken out of a white van. You can. As he walked right up, you can look right into the van and see all, all that damn medical supplies. So why didn't he just exercise just a little decency, a little decorum, right? And, and see, you know what? This guy looks pretty legit. Let me just, if, if I just want to be nosy, let me just ask him what, what he's doing, right? But that's too much like right, right? Dude said he never got a chance to tell the cop that he was a doctor because he just rolled up on him and rushed him. You know, he handcuffed him like in, a, in less than 30 seconds, just rolled up, handcuffed him. Mind you, this happened in front of the man's house. Now, why this police officer felt compelled to get out of his car, I don't know. If I'm a police officer during a coronavirus pandemic lockdown, I'm trying everything in my power to not get out of that damn car. I'm not trying to get out of the car. It has to be a serious crime taking place for me to get out of that car. But you know, some of these cops, they want to be Billy Badass and they act like the, the streets are really theirs. What are you doing? What are you doing? Out here? I don't like I don't like how that guy looks. Let me get out of the car and go be nosy. You know what? Since I got cuffs, let me just put the cuffs on him because I because I can. I don't have any probable cause to pull this guy over to harass this guy. I have no probable cause to ask him any kind of questions. But since I'm a cop and I have the authority, let me go ahead and stretch it. That's the mentality. You know, unfortunately, we have a lot of uncivilized people in uniform, not just police uniforms, and all kinds of uniforms. So many people passing off as public servants when they're really menaces to society. This cop needs to be fired. If he did that to a doctor, and again, the guy looked like a, a public servant. He looked like he was in the medical field. You know, he's he has a mask on and he's dealing with supplies. So if even if he didn't he wasn't a doctor, one would could assume that, you know, he's probably, you know, selling supplies or working for a supply company or something. But this sucker just rolled up on the dude and cuffed him. I mean like that. If the dude's wife wouldn't have came out of the house and provided the ID, he probably would have went on and took him to jail because Armin said, the doc said, the reason why he said, 
Well, actually, he said he pulled up on him and asked him for his ID. That's why he stopped him in the first place. Want, want to see his ID. You don't have to show your ID in America if you're not suspected of a crime. And again, he was obviously not suspected of a crime because the doctor said when the wife came out with the ID, he handcuffed, he can't, he handcuffed him and let him go. He said, well, actually what happened is the wife went to go get the ID and he handcuffed him. And then he said, he scolded him, pointed in his face and then just got in the vehicle and took off. Never even cared to offer an apology. That's the arrogance of some of these dudes. You know what I think it was more than anything? I'm a police officer. You're a black man. I feel like harassing somebody. Let me get out of here. Put some cuffs on. That's what that was about. I'm going to put the cuffs on you because I can. I suspect that one day, collectively, black men are going to realize the power they have and start exercising that power frequently to get the cops off their backs just because they can. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?